What is up guys, it's me Nathan here, and today's video is another tutorial. This one is on how to use the program Fire Alpaca. It's a free drawing program, uh, and it's it's really good, I don't know, I really like it. So, yeah, if you want to find out how to use Fire Alpaca, please watch the video, and I'll see you in the tutorial. Okay, so first off, I'm going to teach you guys what's the deal with the brushes, um, how to use them, and what brushes to use, and what they are basically um, so first off the first one in the pack or whatever you call it on this is the pen well that's what it is on mine you never I don't know I might have changed it from what it originally is but there's a pen um, which is basically just a really like average brush there's no like sh like b um, blendable kind of thing into it it's just plain like a pen kind of thing um, and yeah it's a pretty good pen for outlining and just doing like different things like I don't know it's not the best sketching pen but it still works um, and yeah that's basically what that pen is okay so on to the next brush is the eraser it's not really a brush it just erases things pretty easy um, not gonna go into much with that so the next one is this one called paint it's not in the original one I, I made it you can make your own brushes um, I'm not going to go over how to do that in this video, but if you want to know, just um, let me know in the comments and I might make a video on how to make your own brushes. Um, it's pretty simple. This one's just like my own brush that I use for everything because it just it's the one I wanted. Um, so yeah, next brush is another one I made. I'm just not going to go over those. Okay, so here's one that actually does come with the program. It's the watercolor. Um, you can use this for like painting and stuff. It's a very blurred kind of pen. It like blurs in with things and it looks like that. Um, you can like blur stuff in. So if I go with a lighter red to a darker red to a darker red. <laughs> and then you can like blur it all together. And it like blends in together like that. Okay, so the next brush is the airbrush. Um, it's, I don't really like this brush. I never use it for anything, but it's as if you're like using an airbrush, like spray paint or something. So it just looks really blurred and I don't know. I don't. I would never use this, um, but you guys might. I don't know if you want to. Uh, so yeah. Next one is the blur. I never use this one. I'm actually gonna see what this is. Okay. So the blur is ah oh, okay. It just blurs things. You can just blur whatever the hell you want. Um, <laughs> So yeah, if you have something that you want to blur out and make it blurry and stuff, you can use that pen. Okay, so here is the pencil. Uh, this is just like another type of pen that's a bit different. If you draw over, it makes it darker in the area. So like you do one line, then you do another line above. It'll make it darker, then you do another one. It just keeps going until you get to complete black. The next one is finger. I'm pretty sure this is just like the blur one, but it like spreads it out. Yeah, it is. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's nothing like it. <laughs> so this one just like spreads out stuff. Um, nothing really to say. It's just a weird pen. If you want to use it, you'd use it, but most people probably wouldn't. So yeah, it just does that as if you're running your finger over like paint um, in like real life. Okay, so the next one is kind of weird. It's called Fire Alpaca. It's just a stamp of the logo. It's... I don't even know. They just put it in here for no reason, but... I'd never use it. But it's kind of cool that they put it in here. Um, I'm pretty sure this one came in with the newest update of it. Um, or has it been here all the time? I don't know. Um, so, yeah. That's that. This is the marker. Um, it's just like a pen that marker actually wait what it's just doing like a normal pen I don't know what's well, the marker it's just like the pen um, the original like the pen at the top just a bit pointier at the edges now here is thorn um, so this is just like it's like different it's like you could use it for like plants or something it just like barbed wire or something it just makes this thorny type of texture Okay, and now this brush is kind of cool. Um, if you're into doing like symmetrical drawing and things that look exactly the same on each side, this pen's like the best for you. It copies exactly on both sides and it like does this cool type of thing. 
The next pen is kind of cool for sketching because it looks like an actual like pen on actual like thick paper. It's this pen. It it's called the analog. Yeah, analog. Um, looks like this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's all the brushes. Um, also the color is the color ring is just like a average color ring. You just pick your color, go up and down to different colors, go down to black, and then basically just an average color wheel type of thing. So it's not a wheel, it's like a square. But yeah, that's basically what the color thing is. Okay, so now let's move on to layers. Um, layers are kind of tricky for new people because um, they're not the easiest thing to learn. So now all over this side is just like a view, but the layers are down here. Uh, first off, this is the opacity of the layer. It makes whatever layer you're on go lighter and like basically transparency of it. Um, the next thing, I'm not really sure what this is. I never use it. I don't think you will either. So yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay, so this thing down here, I'm just gonna make a new one um, and draw a little black ball, actually purple. This thing is Project Alpha. If you put like a layer and then click the tick on that and then select another color, it will allow you to draw only in where you drew. Um, there, it's kind of cool because if you want to change the color of like your line art and stuff, it's it makes it easy. Okay, so next to that is clipping. I use this a lot. It's like one of my main things on top of here that I use. It basically, like if I draw something, right, then I make a new layer above it and press clipping and then paint, get another color. It does the same as Project Alpha, it's just a bit better because it lets you change layers. And yeah, that's like one of the most used things I use because it's easy for shading and yeah. Okay, so the next thing is lock. Lock just locks it basically. It's pretty simple, it doesn't let you do anything to it. So yeah, pretty easy. Okay, so now let's go on to the actual layers. Layers are kind of tricky, but after you learn them, you'll learn them and yeah. Basically, the layer below it and the layer above it, the layer above it is like, imagine you have see-through paper and you draw something on one of them and then you put that one above it, it's above it, so the other one will be below it. Whatever one is at the top is like the top piece of paper. Yeah, if you're on another layer, you can't rub out, see I'm on this top layer, I can't rub out the words layer because I'm on a different layer and I can't rub it out. So yeah, that's basically how layers work. And yeah, they're pretty simple. They're very, very, uh, they're very useful for drawing, um, especially to me. Uh, so yeah. Now below that is just all the tools. Like it's like add layer. It's like add a file if you want to add files and like other things from other things. I don't know. <laughs> this is duplicate. Like I draw something on here. I press that, it makes the exact same type of layer. So you can make two of the same things. And then the next one is merge. That's a merge thing, so if I want to merge two layers together, just draw this, then it merges it into one layer. And now next that's just delete. Uh, so yeah. Also, I didn't mention these little circles here are to turn the layer like off. So yeah, that's what they are. Okay, so next is the select tool. This is pretty cool I like it a lot um, it's a it's what you get good with um digital art like because you can't do this in real life obviously you can't just run your finger around the drawing and then oversize it and stuff but what this is there's these little tools at the top but here these things are the select uh, I mainly use this one because you just draw around stuff so what select is if you do that and then click command T or control T I don't know what you do on a Windows but on a Mac it's command T and then you can like size it, warp it, like that, um, and yeah, and then you press enter and it puts it exactly out. Now if you want to get rid of this after selecting, you can just touch it, but you can go up to here and press select and then deselect. Uh, it's pretty easy. So if you want to like select something like this, you can do this and then press um, invert and then it will, yeah just showing you different things that I use a lot just it will work for loads of different um, things that you're using that's basically how you use the select tool it's pretty easy you can just like move stuff around like if you want to move your letters around you can just select them just press command T and then it'll move it around 
Okay, so before we go on to the next one, I just want to mention a few things up here. Um, these two arrows up here are like the delete button kind of thing, like the go back. So if I draw something, I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I can press this arrow up here and it will take me back. Um, and if I, if I want that back, I can press the other arrow. Now, this correction thing is very useful. Um, since I'm using a Cintiq, I don't need it up very high. But if you're using like a normal drawing tablet, like if I put it down to zero, my lines are very bad. Um, but if I put it up to, like, 19, my lines will be, like, the smoothest ever. So, yeah, just whatever you feel comfortable with putting it out. I put it at 13 because I have an on-screen tablet, so it's a lot easier to draw. Um, so, yeah. Also, these things, this is gradient, like, well, I mean, <laughs> this is just, like, a bunch of different things. Um, first off, this is, I'm actually not sure what this is, I've never used it. Oh, it's just basically make shapes of yeah you can pick your different shapes and make different like, shapes I guess uh, pretty easy next is a fill bucket which most of you already probably know it just fills in whatever you want to fill in yeah, probably already know how to use them so yeah this is a gradient um, you pick two colors the, in the color thing there's these two colors and these are made for the gradient so I'll pick a green, and then I'll pick like a purple, and then on the gradient it gives you this little arrow, then drag it, and it will just give you a gradient of the two colours. Okay, so up here is just like a hand that you can move around, and then this is like a select thing, so it selects the colour when you tap on it. Pretty easy. Next thing is text. You can just type stuff, I'm not going to do it, it's pretty easy, you just, that's what I use for my thumbnails, um, this little text thing. So yeah, now let's go back into the main tutorial. This is something I use not really for drawing, just, well it is for drawing, but mainly for like making my thumbnails and just making things straight and yeah. Um, these are snaps, they're, they're basically like a stencil where I, I clicked on one up here, I clicked on a diagonal one, and then all you can draw on is where it is, like I'll try and draw upwards, it's not working, and it will just draw on the lines of the stencil. There's all different ones, so you can also make your own if you have to do like your own one. And yeah, there's round ones, there's like diagonal ones, there's all different ones that you can use. So yeah, they're very useful. And yeah, that's basically snaps. Okay, so that's basically the simple explanation on how to use um, Fire Alpaca. That's like some of the things that may confuse you um, if you first get it and you're like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, that's basically how, that's mostly all the things I use on Firepacker. Some of them, some things don't really matter. So yeah, now this row at the top, it's pretty easy. It's just like the new, um, like you can make a new layer, you can make, not layer, make a new file, save it. Um, and yeah, they're just pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, just explore the program if you don't know some stuff. Um, and if you're having some trouble with some things, please comment down below and I'll try and reply to you and tell you what to do. So yeah, if you like this tutorial, please leave a like. Please check out my other tutorials and my other speed arts. Um, I'll be uploading regularly. So yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe and give this video a like and I'll see you in the next one.